Well, coming into college, uh, I went through my freshman year, didn't really know anything about ROTC. I was a freshman, I wanted to enjoy school, go do whatever, and then as freshman year kind of winded down, I started hanging with a different group of friends, found a friend that was in ROTC. She talked to me about it a little bit, I talked to my mom about it, looked into it, and I was like, hmm, $5,000 a semester, you know, maybe I need to pursue this. Well, when I first went in, it was really like, I didn't know what I really wanted out of it, but after after I kind of got you know some some time in and I really like got the hang of things and I actually got my feet wet in a way, I kind of really grew from that. Oh, I took the two-year scholarship route because I didn't start until my junior year here, so I ended up having to stay an extra year because of ROTC. And that's basically it. Major Smith came to talk to us. Uh, I'm a volleyball player, so he came to talk to us. And I was very interested, and then I went down and talked. And he got me more interested, and then I was just like, okay, I guess I'm gonna give it a shot. Uh, I was a regular student, you know, doing all my school work, getting involved, and I was in uh, Air Force ROTC back in high school. So I said, man, I should really, you know, further my education and you know my knowledge with the military so I said I took my time and I uh, thought about it went over to the ROTC building spoke with Captain White that is our uh, recruiter so you know he sat down he told me about the scholarship opportunities the opportunities after I get commissioned and I said hey man you can't beat that five thousand a semester uh, getting paid twice a month you know what's the downside to that joint and really what kept me in ROTC was the the bond so uh, as soon as I joined, it was just like joining the family. You wasn't, it wasn't, hey, this is just some cadet. I wasn't just cadet cops. It was a brother or sisterhood. So that kept me here. Um, Actually, I uh, transferred from Georgia Military College. And then when I transferred over, I knew that uh, I wanted to be an officer. And I knew that ROTC was the only way. But I was still kind of childish in a way. So I kind of grew a lot in that. So. And I went to summer camp uh, two summers ago and I fell in love. It was just like a good experience meeting new people, getting to know other folks from different places and learning stuff about myself that I didn't know and getting disciplined and things of that nature. Coming in, I kind of, I struggled a little bit with leadership, but ROTC taught me, you know, to be disciplined. You know, that you gotta uh, study. You're gonna be in environments that you're not used to. But if, you know, you trust everything that you learn and trust your knowledge, you'll come out on top. You'll be all right at the end of the day. My experience through it, not gonna lie to you, it's hard. Most challenging thing I've ever did, advance camp, times I did not want to finish. Well, I was just like, okay, I did this for three years, but y'all can send me home. But it humbled me as a person, um, not just as a cadet. It made me really start to evaluate my own way of thinking, my own way of living, and the way I conduct myself. It made me hold myself to a higher standard. Um, so that's like the, the best thing and the best part of this experience was the humbling aspect of joining the program, staying in the program. Uh, it actually changed the way I, I studied and like the way, like my, my discipline really, like uh, and planning, definitely planning. Um, planning for my future and everything. And from, from this point on, really, I, I look forward to just being a second lieutenant in the Army and, and, and you know, leading people taught me to be able to speak out because coming in I'm me still now I'm kind of quiet to myself but when it's showtime I'm able to speak out you know trust everything that I learned and also ROTC made me uh, you know it brought out of me I became Mr. Fort Valley so being Mr. Fort Valley I was able to you know expand the ROTC program around the school with me being you know a main focus on campus and people seeing me in the uniform it just helped me look at everything in a different way in a different route because now I can talk to people and they be like man you know I see you in your uniform I see you being Mr. Fort Valley how does that work I'm able to bring people in you know come talk to this person come talk to this person man it's just a, a broader topic with the military. Small army Honestly, that's the best thing. When people, we hear that all the time, coming in, I didn't really understand what they really meant by it's a small army, but half of the people that I went to camp with, I go to FTXs now and I see them and it's just like, 
wow, like you, re you're really gonna be where I'm at. Like we went to camp, we hated it, we embraced the suck, and now we're back with MS Wars. We're getting ready to commission, and the same person I was with kept struggling with. Now we're gonna be second lieutenants together. So that, like I keep saying, that family is the biggest aspect and the biggest thing I look forward to joining the army. I mean, it's exciting knowing that I'm finally about to become an officer, get that gold bar. That's the most exciting part. And probably the experience of uh, me going into my uh, branch and getting to learn about my branch. Looking forward to the most, you know, just networking. Mm -hmm. Networking is really big to me, you know, I'm, I'm good. Uh, I love meeting new people finding out new things, going on new adventures. And with the military, you never know what's next. You can end up anywhere, so that's what, I, that's what I'm looking forward to.